What's up, love bugs? It's Kelsey Brianna J here with a liquid lipstick video. And these lipsticks are by MAC. As you all probably know, MAC has come out with their new liquid lipstick formula. And I'm so excited. I'm so, so excited to be trying these out to give you all a review or to give you all some bases to go off of when you're trying to select some of the colors some of the colors do look very similar especially online so i think this video will be a great guide for anybody who is like around my skin tone or it's just like thinking about getting these liquid lipsticks warning what i'm about to do has only been attempted by pure professionals do not try this at home i am about to swatch one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven MAC liquid lipsticks on my lips. I know that you guys have wanted to see this video, so I'm making it happen. Let's get it popping. Lady Be Good Dry Well. It does not feel super dry at all. I think it's pretty true to the color that's actually in the tube. Um, I like this color because it's like the closest one to nude that they have. I wouldn't wear this by itself. I would pair it with a neutral toned um, lip line or something that's a preferably a little bit more warm toned to make it look a little bit more complimentary to my skin tone. But I really like this color. This one, um, it applied pretty evenly with one coat. I didn't have to keep really going over. It wasn't streaky or anything like that. So I like this one. I'm going to be attempting to remove these with the MAC Gently Off Eye and Lip Makeup Remover. So I'm just going to shake it up and hopefully these come off easy without taking off too much of my makeup on my face. Yay, they did. Next, this one is Back in Vogue. This one reminds me of like those grandma coral colors that were like super in in 2010 that aren't really that in right now. Um, not gonna lie, it's not my favorite. It feels a little bit drier than the last one. This one was a little bit splotchier to apply than the first one. So next I have two mattes in love, which this color is really pretty. This one already feels really creamy and it's super opaque. I did not have to do a whole lot of work to make it even all the way across with the application. So I'm just going to let this one dry. <laughs> so this one dries like a really pretty fuchsia pink. It reminds me of Max Lipstick and Girl About Town, but in liquid lipstick form. It's like that really pretty deepish, rosy color and I feel like this would be really pretty in the springtime I don't typically gravitate towards pinky tones like this one but it is pretty and it's nice to have super opaque more so than even the first two and I had no splotchiness whatsoever when applying it so this one is a great shade so next I have tailored to tease which is a mid-tone pretty purpley color reminds me of flat out fabulous lipstick by MAC so, so far I'm really liking the mid-tone pinkish purpley colors because I feel like they're really creamy and opaque. You and me, we just don't get along. So next, this is my favorite color from the entire collection. This one is called, this one is called Oh Lady. I wore it in my last video that I uploaded. So of course, I'm pretty drawn to colors like this, so I'm a bit biased when I'm saying that it's my favorite. But I feel like this one just really complements my skin tone. You can wear it with a variety of different looks. And I went back and I looked at my past few videos that I uploaded, and pretty much I had on a shade similar to this in every video. So 
gonna have to switch it up but I really like this color this is the only color out of all of these that I have actually worn on several occasions like out and about doing stuff basically this one is a little bit drier so max prep and prime lip is something that I always put underneath it just because it smooths it out and it makes it like a base so it's not like it's just directly on your lips which like I said earlier these liquid lipsticks can really just emphasize dryness and texture and any fine lines you have on your lips so you want to make sure that you're prepping your lips before so next we're going to get into this whole slew of red colors that Mac decided to release with this collection so that way you can really see the difference between them so if you are trying to decide which reds you wanted to get then you can just kind of decipher by these swatches and not so much having to go buy each and every one of them because they are just kind of different variations of one another. So this one is quite the standout. So we'll see. Uh, which this is a really pretty shade but me personally I only tend to wear shades like this maybe once or twice a year at the most. It's just not a shade that I just absolutely love. I'm not the biggest fan of orange. If you're ever going to get me something, don't get it in orange. I don't know. Um, this color is pretty, it's smooth and creamy like the other ones, but this one is a little bit more patchy, so you are going to need to apply a little bit more. So I try to go through and smooth it out, but I see where I have like some little spots where I would need to go back in and fill it in. But the color is pretty. Male love shades like this, Kale them love shades like this. Who loves orange soda? Kale loves orange soda. I do, I do, I do. Ooh. I'm making a bad Hey, tell them that it's human nature. Why? Why? Does it mean this way? Liquid lipsticks are the devil. These almost are like pretty much the same color. One of them is a little bit more blue, and the other one is a little bit more orange. Shim Legacy. This one right here is more comparable to Max Russian Red. So if you have Russian Red and you like colors like that, more orangey toned reds, then this will be a color that you would probably like. This one is super smooth. This is probably the smoothest one that I've tried on thus far, to be honest. I, it gave me no problems. One pump and I was able to go around my lips multiple times and fill in any patches that I saw. So this one is probably one of the smoother ones. Feels so good. This is like that traditional blue based old Hollywood red. Now I like this one just as much as the other one. It all just comes down to color preference. I personally like this type of red more. I feel like it makes your teeth look whiter. It makes your face look more radiant. It looks more classic and sharp and clean cut. So I just prefer a cleaner blue based red even though the other color may complement my skin a little bit more. A little bit more. But I like this one more. <laughs> this one's more appealing to my eye. It really just is. You're just attracted to stuff and you don't know why. I'm attracted to these colors. This kind of red, probably because I'm a So this is the second to last one I have, thank God. This one is Dance With Me. This reminds me of the old school Revlon lip color in Cherries in the Snow that your mama and your aunties and them used to wear. At least that's how, this is how I remember the color looking like in my mind. I was young. But anyways, I really like this one. This one is more so of that berry toned red color and it's really gorgeous actually. It applied really smooth like the one that I applied before this one. Super smooth application. With liquid lipsticks, I never go like this because it just makes them flake off. I think one time on Boy Meets World, Topanga had, they were in pairs for whatever reason in a dream or something. I think Topanga had on a lipstick like this, so I think that's why I always equate colors like this with Paris and Topanga. Last one. This one is called High Drama. It is the darkest one that they make in this collection. This is Struggle. This is the lip color. They're equal. They're best friends. Um, my least favorite. To me, these dark colors and liquid lipsticks almost never work. I've not gotten one yet that's not streaky upon upon applying it. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the color that's hard to do. But I feel like these colors are really just hard to get them opaque. 
and not splotchy this one is the splotchiest one of all the colors so I'm not a fan of it whatsoever I actually don't even want it I actually want to take it back or give it away or sell it or something I just don't want it I feel like this one is just super dry and just splotchy and I just can't get an even application with it for the life of me not a fan but this concludes the video i hope that this was helpful for anybody who was contemplating on whether or not to buy these mac liquid lipsticks they are permanent so there is no hurry however whenever mac launches something that's permanent they always sell out really quick and take a long time to restock <laughs> order them online and mac will send it to you whenever they become back in stock they also sell them at every mac counter every mac store it's just like something that's readily available now you guys can go back through and check out my individual thoughts on any of them. Let me know what you all think of them or if you're getting any of them or already have them. Let me know what you all think. And also let me know what you think about them in comparison to other liquid lipstick formulas. But yeah, let me know if this helped you all. Make sure you thumbs this video up if it did. Make sure you are subscribed and I will talk to you all later. Smooches. Bye.